What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we have another cottagecore design idea video. Uh, just as a warning, this is kind of pattern heavy, so if you don't have space in your custom patterns, uh, I have three suggestions for you. First of all, you can see my character, those little eyebrows. Uh, those won't go away if you write over them with other designs. Uh, another one is your town flag. Those won't go away as well. And kind of a big tip that I want to give you guys is if you have any shops or stalls on your island, you may have been using a custom pattern for those stalls. I would suggest kind of switching over to sables. They're not as good as some of the custom patterns uh, that you get, but freeing up a slot, I think kind of wins that battle. So those are three ways to kind of free up some spots. Uh, but this video will be very pattern heavy. Uh, but it's gonna be a good episode. Lots of stuff. So let's get to the first thing. This is an idea that I think is so unique. Uh, so this is, all this is is just the tiled path. And I've just kind of made this weird shape. So this is uh, three wide or three tall, however you wanna say it, uh, all the way around. And this is just, you don't have to do uh, this shape. So what we're gonna do, and let me put this pattern on the screen for you. And all these are are just basic Roman numerals. Uh, you could easily make your own, but just as, you know, a uh, proof of concept, we'll just use these. So all I'm going to do, actually, I wanted that up a little bit further. So these just, of course, signify, uh, these are going to signify time. And let's see, let's put this one here. And I think that this is a really cool idea. All right, so now we have the numbers here in this uh, very specific pattern. Um, and this is so cool. Okay, next you need an item called, I think everyone has this. It is the, where? It's the street lamp. So I think everyone has a street lamp. So we have this, guys, are you ready for this? Let's put this street lamp down. And as you can see, we have a working sundial. It is 1118 AM on my island. And as you can see, it is working like a sundial. I think this is very clever and this is sort of the things about Animal Crossing that are very underrated. The physics are great, the lighting is great, and the sun is actually accurate to the time. So there you go. You have a working sundial in your island. All you need is a street lamp and some Roman numerals or something to mark the time. And this could definitely uh, fill that little spot in your island that you've been wondering what the heck do I put there? So sundial, let me know what you guys think. Next up is a fairly common idea, but the patterns themselves, I feel like are very hard to get, especially some of the higher quality ones. So this of course is just gonna be a blanket pattern. And I wanted to showcase, I've only shown one blanket ever on my channel, but this one really caught my eye. So this is of course a three piece pattern. You have the two fringe patterns and then you have the main blanket pattern. So let me put the fringe patterns on the screen for you because they are separate creators, oddly enough. Uh, okay, so we have this fringe pattern. And if you see the top right, the fringe is on the right. Uh, so you wanna put this, this is gonna be the right side of the blanket. So let's put this down. And the thing that I really like about these fringes is that they're a bit longer than the ones that I've seen before. So they're kinda like that throw blanket look. Um, and I really like that. Okay, so next we're gonna go to the, the left side fringe. So let's put this down. And the good thing about blankets, I'm sure you guys have used them on your island, is the fact that they can, you know, you can make them any size that you want. So if you have, you know, a, a smaller area, you can make a smaller blanket, so on and so forth. Okay, those are the fringes. And then the middle pattern, this looks like a cozy blanket. Uh, and this is the one that I've been using. I actually replaced my other blanket pattern and I just really like the way that this looks. Again, we're going for that cottage core look. So I think this is a bit more appropriate. I used to have like a black striped one. This one just looks cozy. And uh, there you go. That's a nice blanket pattern that I think could go well with your cottage core island. All right, moving along. These next patterns are so essential and I've been using them everywhere on my island. I think a big part of cottage core is just filling up space and making your nature areas look really good. So what I'm gonna do first, I am going to, and we're gonna stay in this area that we just made with the blanket. I'm going to plant some cedar trees. Just give it a little bit of cover. You know what, I'll just do one uh, for this. So these patterns are 
floral patterns. I'm going to put these on the screen. The first one that you're seeing right now is sort of more of a blue flower pattern. I really, really like this, especially deep in the woods. I think blue flowers in general go very well against cedar trees. It's a nice contrast. And then the second flower pattern is kind of like the first one, but it's more yellow. Uh, so you have sort of like those yellow sort of buttercup dandelion type things. Uh, so those are the two flower patterns that I've been using everywhere. Uh, so let's kind of uh, put some of these out. So let's start with the blue flowers. And again, like you see on the left side in my graveyard, I have the yellow flowers. So you can kind of see what those look like. Now with these, I don't really like to make them front and center because they are just a flat pattern. I think they look kind of better in the background. So we'll put it under there near a rock. And then what we'll do is we'll kind of cover them a little bit with some weeds. So I just think those look really good. And let me just put the yellow patterns. I think that these are very underrated. I'll go for a walk. Actually, let's do that right now. Let's go in my graveyard, which I'm not even talking about in this video, but I just want to show you like how much of an impact these little yellow flowers have. And that's the pattern that I have on hand right now. Just, you know, randomly placed, I think carefully placed though. As you can see, they have yellow and white next to these white mums. Um, and they just look good in like foresty areas. You can see right here I have one. Just, you know, not really front and center. But uh, I think with weeds and stuff, they look very good. Um, I want to show you guys another pattern that I've been using. Uh, kind of going along this flowery pattern. This pattern right here, this clover and blue flower. I think this just looks very good. So let's just put it right by the cedar tree. And these honestly look like they are in game. Like they look like they came with the game. Uh, all it is, is it's kind of like an extension to the weeds themselves. Of course, it's like a 2D flat pattern. But then you have sort of these purple and pink accents, which I really like. And especially if you put a lot of weeds near them, they're going to look really good. Okay, ignore all these black flowers. Okay, we're getting ready for Halloween pretty early. But if you put them near weeds, like you can't really tell the difference. Um, and those little pops of purple and pink really just can make your uh, can make your wilderness areas really pop. So those are three that I like. Um, here's another one that I think you guys will like. So I have two different mushroom patterns. And what I'm going to do for you is actually, I'm actually going to put the creator code on the screen. Now, the good thing about these mushroom patterns is I believe that the clover blue flower pattern that I just showed you is the same creator. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the entire creator code on the screen for you because I think that there's a lot of nature inspired patterns in there and they're pretty high quality. Now these mushroom patterns, we have like a love hate relationship. Uh, let me show you some up here. As you can see, like I've done more of these clover patterns, but here we go. That's, those are my mushroom patterns kind of hidden because the mushroom patterns are like an illusion sort of thing. They're flat, but they're supposed to look three dimensional. So I kind of put them behind flowers or like behind weeds or something, but like those little pops of red, I really do like. And then the other mushroom one, and there's, there's a bunch of them, by the way, are these little like brown cap mushrooms. And again, it's kind of an illusion, but they're meant to look 3d. So what I do is I just put like 3d objects in front of them. I put weeds, those will grow up really nice and kind of enhance those mushroom patterns. So we have the mushrooms, we have the flowers, we have those little clovers with the purple and pink. And I'm telling you guys, if you spread them all throughout your, your island, your forest areas, it's just going to look more full. And that's all cottage core is about. So definitely let me know what you think of those patterns. And I've said before, I think they are essential on anyone's island. All right, so I don't usually do this very often, but this is a fully realized idea, uh, but it does involve a pattern. So I'll put that on the screen for you right now. And this is a very high quality Ouija board pattern. Uh, all you spooky people out there, you might like this. So this is a fully realized idea. And as you can see, the pattern is kind of front and center. I also have the, uh, what is this called? The spellcaster item. I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, but that, and this is, I'm not even going to say much, like this is the fully realized idea that I have on my island. You guys can sort of take inspiration from this. As you can see, again, those yellow flower patterns to the left, we have weeds, we have 
some rocks. This middle dirt pattern is actually the path. I've just made it kind of uh, an interesting pattern. And then we also have the tall garden rocks, which I've angled in a way that kind of makes it look like an interesting pattern. Um, so let me know what you think of this little spellcaster area. I have it right beside my graveyard, but deep in the woods, this could definitely be a very spooky piece in your island. All right, next up we have another very cottage core uh, pattern here. Now this is a circular stone pattern and this is a four piece pattern. So what I'm gonna do actually, instead of putting the specific design idea, I'm gonna put the creator code. This creator has so many good, especially if you're going for that cottage core, they have great uh, designs and the patterns are just crazy. Also, the reason why I'm putting their creator code is this uh, four piece circular stone pattern, they actually have it in brick and I think they have it in some darker colors. So this is how you use this one. This is again, just a circular pattern. So we're just gonna do the top left and I'm actually gonna do one probably down here. Next, what you wanna do is just like a puzzle, you're gonna put the top right and I'm making multiple stones. So let's do two at once. And let's do the bottom left. It's super easy guys. It just looks very good as, you know, maybe an alternate to the path or alternate to some of like a, a rock path or something. This looks good near ponds or lakes or something like that. And of course, like most of these ideas, like deep in the woods. So uh, yeah, this is the circular stone pattern. Again, you can even combine what, we, what we've been doing today with some of the flower patterns and just make it look really nice. There's no right or wrong way to, uh, to implement a lot of these patterns. It's just kind of like, making cover and uh, sort of like a painting is, is kind of what I describe it as. So let's put, uh, I don't know, let's put some cedar trees down. And then you can make like a very nice like hiking trail or, you know, just an interesting path leading out to maybe like a stargazing area or something like that. But these circular stone patterns, I think are very essential. Definitely check out the creator code on there because they have a ton of great patterns. All right, guys, I think I saved the best for last. This one is so good. And if you remember my other design idea video a few weeks back now, maybe a month back, I actually made a dedicated shop for Kix. Kix is one of my favorite NPCs. So I made him a replica of his shoe stand, which I then put outside of Able Sisters. I will link that video in the description if you guys wanna check that out. Definitely uh, worth a watch there. But now we have another one of my favorite NPCs and we're in the forest, we're in the trees. So I think you know who I'm going to pick. So this is Leaf. This is my outfit. I will try, guys, I can't make pr any promises. I will try to find this creator code for the outfit. All right, so we're in our Leaf gear. We're in the forest, we're near some trees. I think you guys know where I'm getting at this. Now this is a replica of Leaf's shop. This is the best that I could do. I think it came out actually pretty good. So kind of creeping towards the right, we have the picture of Leaf, which all that is is a QR code, which I'll put on the screen right now so you guys don't have to go through the trouble of making it. Uh, you can also make your own over on acpatterns.com. That's where I make all my QR codes. We also have the lantern on the bottom. And this is my replication of Leaf's cart. This is what Leaf's cart usually looks like in game. And this is what I did for this. So usually Leaf's cart kind of has like a flower cart, but it has sort of that covering over it. And this is kind of the way I got around it. So first of all, this flower, this garden wagon it's called, is a DIY. It's a pretty lengthy DIY. You need white hyacinths, red cosmos, yellow roses, wood and iron nuggets. So pretty common items. If you don't have some of those flowers, it might be a little bit difficult. So just put the flower cart down. And what I did to kind of make that awning is all this is, is this is actually a pocket camp item. This is the fortune cookie cart. Uh, if you don't know how to get the pocket camp items, long story short, you download pocket camp, you do the tutorial and you can actually redeem some of the items in your nook stop. And what I did was I kind of layered the two. And as you can see, that tree is covering that fortune cookie flag. So it kind of looks like leaves carts. So I really like that. Also, I moved my greenhouse over here. And I've done this in a uh, past design idea video before. All this is, is the stalls turned backwards. And that those are Sable's patterns. Like I said before, she actually has some pretty good ones. 
those are just green leaf uh green tree patterns that i put on the stalls and then of course this is leaf shop so we put some seeds there we put some weeds uh, some trees that you can buy kind of decorated it with a bunch of plants some leaf piles again we have these circular rock patterns that i made earlier um, we have these clovers with the pink and purple. This is kind of like a fully realized idea of everything that we've been talking about today. And also, this is another mini tip for you guys. As you can see, these two stumps are different sizes. Uh, so if you are growing trees from scratch, you can cut them at the different days that they're growing and actually get different size stumps. And I think they look a bit more interesting in the forest if you're going for that kind of vibe. So different size stumps is definitely a, a pro tip there. But yeah, this is my fully realized uh, leaf shop. And again, for obvious reasons, put it in the uh, the heart of your island, uh, cover it up with some cedar trees. This still isn't done. I just made this uh, yesterday. So this is my idea. I hope you guys liked some of the ideas and the patterns that I've shown you today. Let me know in the comments what which one was your favorite. Uh, will you be doing any of these? I think they look great, guys, if you're going for that nature, cottage core type island. Uh, thank you again, guys, so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode, guys. Stay tuned for more, and peace out.